We know you got it. Now, look, you know, people, we let people submit questions through social media who watch. Uh, we got a number of them. We're only going to ask you a few. Uh, VAR asks, uh, what do you think of Jared Anderson? And would you consider a fight with him? I think Jared Anderson, you know, he, he's been doing what he's supposed to do with the fighters that have been putting, that's been placed in front of him. And um, I, and um, I wish him nothing but the best and continue to uh, to do what he do. And of course, that's with all of them, not just with him, but as long as I'm in the business and they're in the business and everything is going good and people want to see excitement, I'm around. You know what I mean? I don't shy away from no one. Uh, you know, I I don't duck dodge anyone. Actually, if, if people go back in my career, I've taken up on other people, uh, 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 um, obligations. I would say in situations when fighters have been lied to with certain promoters to just to 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 deflect him or or to hold him hostage to not fight. But I took up on that res their responsibility and blessed them with opportunities. To please their families. And with that being said, the connections that I've gained after that, not only from the individual himself and the families, but for the whole culture of his people. You know, what I mean, it's a beautiful thing when you can come in and help people out, especially with fighters, because a lot of us, we just come from the bottom and we're just trying to make it to the top to, put, to, put, to, provide, put, to provide for our families. And, you know, a lot of fighters go. A, a, a measure, a, a long measure of 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 risk to try to break free from their country and to make a better life for their families, you know. And boxing is, is it's a business that 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 it's a business that that we have to sacrifice so much, even risk our lives. And I ain't even talking about in the ring. On the outside, risk our lives to just risk our life in the ring. You know, it's a double whammy. <laughs> because you get a lot of these guys, they defect from their countries. They have to go through the oceans and all that. All those predators that's waiting on that good, nice human meat, you know, to wear down or to get into a situation where they can snack on them. But when you come over, when, you, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you're free and you come over and you make it, it's another opportunity that you have to build for your family, but you also enter into another situation where you have to risk your life every time you fight in there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's so much, man. I can I can make I can paint the picture in so many ways. And uh, you know, I try to explain it to the to, to, to the fans to see it, to see what we have to go through. This is not just boxing. It's a way of life for sure, but the way we have to do it to perform for you guys, to show you certain things. We go through a light as, as as fighters. I haven't went through as much as some others, you know, but that's just the card that's just be drawn to you. You know what I mean? And you just have to deal with your situation the best way you can and try to make it out the best way you can. Mm -hmm. And I advise mm -hmm. all fighters, when you get in a situation, well, I advise to forget of getting in a situation because everyday life is a situation. You know, that we're trying to, you know, we try to maneuver through whether it's good or bad. But with fighters, whatever you do, make sure you invest your money. That's why I would tell them, because at the end of the day, nobody cares about you. They they, they got the next fighter lined up. They got the next winner, you know. Why you think you see more fighters broke and then the ones that promoted the fight or managed them, they still rode around in Rolls Royce as a big mansion and all their kids go to private school. And you see these old school fighters, they got tacky suits on, the shoe, you know, it, they can barely talk and hold a conversation. But the only thing they get is a pat on the back and say, damn, you was a hell of a fighter. Some of them can barely buy food, bro. Some of them have to charge for taking pictures with you because of their broke, because they're broke, because they've been taken advantage of in their career. And it's a sad thing. And they've been the fighters. See, when I talk about shit like this, somebody feel a certain type of way because they probably still doing it to this day, to this day, to this day. And they don't want to feel that guiltiness. I didn't I didn't talk about this on, on, on certain channels and those, those channels has got shut down wow. for several wow. months because I speak the truth. And this is how it is. 
And if you hear me and you're one of those people that that's doing that to these fighters, yeah. why you feel away now? Because you're going to go to hell. You're going to hell. Trust that. Hmm. Man, um, I can say, man. man. Well, uh, Andre, you, man. <laughs> uh, Andre asks, what is your current relationship with the PBC platform? Oh man, we still we got, got a great relationship with the PBC platform. You know what I mean? Um, you can still see me yeah, having fights with those guys as well. I, I still stay in communication with with, with 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 the people that I need to. So you know, I'm I'm still a part of of the PBC family for sure. And uh, and you know, just looking forward to the future. The future is bright for a lot of a lot of different things. And um and um, I just say stay tuned, man. Just Continue to be a fan of boxing. Thank you for the love and support. And we're going to try our best to to make the, the dream fights happen, I would say. Yeah. Uh, Trust asks, you've been a champ. You've made lots of money in your career. What's motivating you to stay in the ring? The people. The people. You know, Brian, I get so many people all walks of life. They come to me for motivation, for inspiration for a, a word of thought, affirmation of, of, of words. You know what I mean? We all human, you know, we human and and we all need certain affirmation of words to carry us through. Whether it's just, I love you, bro. Or whether, you know, it's keep going. You're almost there. Don't give up. No matter how hard it get, just keep going. All those different things. You know what I mean? You know, uh, or hug, you feel me? Oh, I love you, bro. You know how much I love you can go a long way with people? Because that's something, you know, you you barely ever hear around, you know what I'm saying? And especially when it's genuine. And somebody looking at you and say, bro, I love you. And you feel that tight, warm hug. And you know that energy. You feel it. It's something that you feel like music. It ain't what you hear. It's what you feel. And when you can feel that, man, it make it every bit of a, a, a person's day. Even when you're just listening to someone. Sometimes people just want to ear, bro, yeah. because they got something to say. They want to vent. They got to, you know, and, 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 and I provide that. You know, I never look at myself bigger than anyone or whatever, because we're all human beings. With me, I don't care who you are. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care what popularity you, whatever. To me, you just human being. You understand me? You just a human being. At the end of the day, I want to know what's inside of you, what's in your heart, because on the outside, nowadays, we can buy for whatever we want on the outside. We can play potato. potato what is it, Mr. Potato, where you had to switch up different things on them? Mr. Potato Head. Come on. That's <laughs> life now. We can do that. We can buy things. We can, But the inside is hard to change, the inside. You understand me? How we are is usually sometimes how we are. Yeah. In the inside, that's what I would be wanting to know about a person. What's your heart? Yeah. What's inside of you? Let me see the beauty of that because the outside, you can all, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can build a bear. You can, you can, you can, you can hide under a lot of things until you go home and then the truth come out. So it's a lot of things that I could say, you know, that's why I'm still going along with the people. The people, most definitely, you know. Even with coming, even with getting my statue, bro, I have peoples all over the world just come down to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and travel miles, thousands and thousands of miles, bro. And I couldn't believe it from different countries just to hear to join hand in hand with me and my family to celebrate something, an achievement. You know what I mean? And uh, it's just a beautiful thing. It allowed me to understand, like, damn, I really bring change to the world. I really, I really. It affect the world in certain in certain peoples all over the world in, in certain types of ways of what I say and what I or what I do. And when you realize that and you see it in, in, in person, you see it in front of your face, it makes you like, damn, I can't stop now. I'm too young to stop now. I gotta keep pushing. There's more that I can give. And I will until I until I'm satisfied. So you guys can still see me for for a good little bit of time, you know what I mean? But one day it will, I, you know, I almost closely came to it because 
of a lot of various reasons. You know what I mean? Like I said, you know, I know uh, I ain't going to get into it. But, you know, I've been revived, though, you know, and and I, and and the, I sport, think, and the sports better for it because they, they, they need, you know what they always say, when the heavyweight division is good, so is the sport of boxing. And the, and the heavyweight di division needs Deontay Wilder. All right, we come to the last segment of the show. You know, uh -huh. it's called the – it's the last stand. You know, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. You just give me the first thing that comes to your mind. You ready, champ? Let's do it. Let's Here do it. Here we go. What's a bigger fight? Fury versus Usyk, Wilder versus Joshua. Wilder Joshua all day long. <laughs> all day long. And is it as big now as it was, let's say, in 2017 when we were first talking about that fight? I think it is. Okay. Got because it. of the excitement and people know that it's, it's, it's closer than it's ever been before. You know what I mean? And um, that fight, most time where everywhere I go, people talk about that fight. It has been nonstop. So, you know, I can go, I can only go off of my ears and, and, and my interaction with people. And with that being said, that's, that's the number one fight that people want to see everywhere I go. They talk about that one. Uh, Gervonta Tank Davis said he's the new face of boxing canelo alvarez says he's still the face of boxing in your opinion who is the face of boxing i mean we all the face of boxing i don't look at one individual as the face of boxing you understand me especially when they do deal with weight classes because if you're gonna be the face of boxing then you come up and fight heavyweight too the smaller you know what i mean if it's gonna be a face of boxing it's gonna be the man you know what i mean not just one Weight class because these weight classes they ain't gonna come up to heavyweight and beat no heavyweights. So if you if you how you gonna be the face of boxing when there's so many different weight classes in boxing, you the face of your weight class, and we are gonna put it like that. Because if not, then come on up to the big league with the big boys that hit the hardest, and let's see who's the face. Then it gonna be a messed up face. <laughs> but that's uh, how I look at it. You know, people all oh, the faces of boxing, faces of boxing. That's in that weight class. And if you, in my opinion, we all the faces of boxing because we all risk our lives for others' entertainment. You understand me? So it's all of our faces. We all the faces. I never, I never agree with the faces of boxing, the faces of boxing. What do that mean? That's something that somebody came up with and then wanted to put it out there and then put it, put a name or a face to it. Oh, this is the face of boxing because, oh, well, it's depending on the popularity. Nah, because everybody get different opportunities. You know what I mean? Just because this guy out here more, that means somebody helping them out with the opportunity to be out there. It, it's a lot of great fighters, brilliant fighters that'll never get the opportunity to display themselves, but you'll never see that's out here. You know what I'm saying? Because of the opportunity. You understand me? These guys that's out here, they getting the opportunity. They didn't had help. They didn't had other people that's been in the business to get that shine on them. You understand me? You know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm talking about? They they going to be the face of their own individual weight classes. Now, when these guys come up, these so-called face of boxing, when they come up and enter into our fit and then enter into our world, and you start knocking on some of these heavyweights, then I'll be glad to say, damn, he is the face of boxing. You understand me? But yes, what sir. I see, we are all the faces. I like it. You know, uh, Deontay Wilder used to tell me all the time, there needs to be one face, one Come on. name. When Come it on. comes to being the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, right? Is that, is that still your goal? That's still my goal, brother. That's still my. I'm gonna wipe out the whole entire heavyweight division, and then if they, if I, if I had to go down and lose weight to cruiser to 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 to. to, to to every individual weight to show them who to face, then let's let that begin. And let and let the smallest man gain weight to come up to the heavyweight. Let's play that game. And we'll see who really the face of boxing. Because I guarantee you a heavyweight will will, will willing to fight anybody before a smaller weight to come up to a to a fight a heavyweight. You ain't gonna get no smaller guy to fight no heavyweights. Now as a heavyweight, especially me, I'll fight any man in the motherfucking world. You understand me? In any division, would that, would, would that same person be the same way to come up and fight us? I don't think so. I don't think... Look at me. I'm probably one of the smallest heavyweight in the business. 
But all these other weights, they go, they get mad when motherfucker two pounds over. I done fought, I fight guys 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds to have you than me. <laughs> and, these, and people want to be the face of boxing? Yeah. Come on, man. Get out of here. You the face of your weight division. And I, and I ain't hating on nobody. I'm just speaking it logically. People have to sit back and just think and be like, damn. That's right. You can't be the whole face of whole boxing if you just find guys in your weight division and y'all y'all motherfucker crying about people going two pounds, three pounds over when I'm still up there fighting motherfucker 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds heavier than me and still laying their ass out. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Francis, like, for real. Francis Ngannou Francis Ngannou came on here and said he is the biggest puncher in combat sports <laughs> is he the bigger puncher than Deontay Wilder <laughs> <laughs> hey man you gotta have confidence in yourself you gotta do that you gotta you know what I mean you gotta feel good about yourself and he on his high horse he feeling good I'm proud of Francis you know what I mean that's my my African brother, you know, he's Maroon, and, and I'm right there Nigerian. The Eldo tribe, you feel me? So we back to back. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him, but the thing is, women lie, men lie, but numbers don't lie. Numbers don't lie, baby. I've been doing it for a very long time, and every man I've faced, I've knocking on and put on that canvas. Understand me? I don't think that's the same for him. But you know he got power and he can punch, and we can give him that. But when when it comes to the hardest punch in all the combat sports, you're hearing the voice and you're looking at the man that holds that title. That facts. That facts. That facts. When guys fight me, they automatically think about cheating because they feel like I got the advantage over them. You understand me? And I that's all I'm gonna leave that ass right there. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Last question. Is Deontay Wilder most known for Bomb Squad or till this day? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. That's a good fucking question, bro. That's a good one. That's a good one because oh man, it makes me smile because I love I love people. I love people all over the world, different cultures, different religion. And different state of minds and stuff like that. And man, I don't, oh man, I hear both of them equally. You know what I mean? I would, I would think Bomb Squad maybe a little bit top it a little bit because it's been out there a little bit more. Yeah. But people say it equally. I hear to this day and Bomb Squad all the time, whether it's in airports or whether it's at gas stations, or whether it's in shopping malls or whether, no matter what. And you know, what excites me, well, I wouldn't say excites me. I, I think it can be a little excitement, but it can be dangerous too when I'm in the airport and people come up with their excitement. Fuck squad. I'm like, oh, you, you might not want to do that here, bro. You might not. I'm sorry, man. I'm just a huge fan. I'm a big, I'm like, I know, but that can get you in trouble. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be around, you know what I'm saying, when that happens. Because I got little ones that are looking up to me and, and I got to take care of. And, I don't want you to get in trouble, nor do I want to get in trouble because of your excitement and you being a yeah. fan. And it just come out. It just comes out, bro. It just comes yeah. out. People's they be like, oh shit. Bah! <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing to see, you know, when you come up with something and everybody, you know, they feel it and they 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 identify you with that. You know what I mean? To this day. And every time I say to this day, people feel that. At first, they didn't understand, or maybe they didn't want to understand because of the history that it comes behind, that it relates to, you know, because a lot of people don't want to understand our culture and our history. You know, they rather brush it on the rug and put that rug over it, and they don't want that to come out. They don't even want the dust to escape from it. Stop talking about it. No, that's how you brain change. You continue to talk. You continue to argue. You continue to 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 display your frustration on the situation because it's still a situation that we do not understand why we are the ones being targeted mm. for so many years. Yeah, mm. yeah, and yeah, and you will never be able to feel that way if you're not a part of the culture. Right. You can have your opinion. 
You can look at this situation like, oh, guys, this is long. Yeah. Uh, if so, then you bring change because as I see it, it's still a factor, a strong factor. It's still things go on. It's still things are happening to this fucking day. Understand me. So why is it that? Why? I, I never understand. When I see certain people and I see culture, like it's just like, it's just like, let's say since we in boxing, it's just like I can say my people and I can do all this. And people have you know opinion about it. Oh, you he he pointing out, singling out just him and his people. But you will get a Mexican and say my people all day long. Everybody cheer. Everybody hurrah for that. Hurrah that. Everybody praise that. Yeah. He's fighting for his gun, his people. But when I say my people, when I say certain things, I get whipped. I get cast the stone, stones and sticks. Why is that? It's a lot of things. I know this ain't no segment on <laughs> those certain things, but certain things that just bring a uh, conclusion. And when you sit around here and you sit around here and think so long and you can't find and you haven't had or heard a valuable answer or a reasonable answer to that situation, you still wonder why. Now, I can come up with a lot of reasons of why. I can say the strength and the power that we hold that they don't have. But this is not the time nor the place to get in those situations. And I just, I you know, and as a strong black man, I'm staying strong, ten toes down on all my principles, morals and go as I always have and I always will. You looking at a man, Brian, that I die for what he believes in. Not only would I say it, but I'll prove it each and every time. You understand me? That's why I do the things I have to do in this world. I build for my family, for my children. They have everything they want to need. You feel me? And they have a loving father in their lives. You understand me? No matter how high or far I go, my kids know if you need daddy, call daddy. Whether I had to go from a private jet here, I'm daddy going to be there. You understand me? I'm going to show the love. I show the support. You know how many loving fathers we have as black men? We That's another thing we get, we get, we get, we get stomped on about. Oh, we don't take care of our kids. What the fuck you talking about? You know how many other men's out here, different cultures that don't do that? Not just us. We always being pointed the finger at you, 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 you. But look around. Look around. Why are we always the one? I had to get on a, a business owner. And I ain't going to even label his business. You know what I'm, I ain't going to stay the business, but he's, he's, he's a good businessman and he got a great business going. And but in front of him, I had to call him out in front of him and all his employees. You understand me? Because they look at me and I, I, the things I spent some good money with them. Because I was thinking about my children and I wanted my children to have some of his products that he, that he was offering. I created some things, and he he mentioned how great of a man I was and and a father to my kids and stuff and how. You don't see that a lot, especially, you know, in the in the black culture. Ah, what the fuck you say that for? Right then and there, I had to stop him. I said, nah, brother. I said, this ain't just in my culture. This is in your culture. That's in his culture. His culture. All y'all. It ain't just in our culture. We got great. I said, the people that I hang around, the men that I know, they love their children. They'll kill for their fucking children and yours too. They love being father. They love taking that responsibility. So don't die on my people because of the little mishaps you done seen or certain things that people done said and you ain't witnessed, but you just heard and you done carried it away. And by the time you tell it to the third person, the story done changed. It probably done got worse. Yeah. Oh, should I say worse? From what you done heard, yeah, them, them black men, they, they, don't, they don't take care of they. What you talking about? You crazy. It didn't turn to this. See how it does not change. It didn't turn to something else. Hey, I, think, I think that's probably why so many people respect you, man, because you speak your mind and you, like you, man. Say, 
You speak it the way you see it, and there's not many people who would do that. And I think I got yeah. mad respect for you because you do do that. And I cannot wait to see the Bronze Bomber back in action. Uh, oh, hey, look, the sport's always better when Deontay Wilder's back oh, in, in the ring because it's so much excitement. You just you're on the edge of your seat because you know it can it can end at one punch at any time. And Amen. I'm so I'm so happy to see you. Uh, the best to you and your family during the holidays as well. Uh, you know what to do. Go get you a victory. Yes, Be safe. And we always thank you for coming on The Last Stand, my brother. Oh, uh, man, Brian, I appreciate you so much. And all the fans, I love you guys so much. And just thank you for tuning in and listening to, to me one more time on The Last, and the last Stand. Yeah. This is not my last stand. Yes, but uh, we're gonna be right here each and every time. You know what I mean? And uh, after this fight over, with, let's get let's get another segment in and uh, let's talk about the Joshua situation as well and, and big it up. So I, I definitely believe he's gonna win with Otto Wallen. Um, I'm looking forward to him knocking him out. To be honest, you know what I mean? I can see that happening, but it's gonna be up to Joshua to to do what he got to do. I don't want him to think about me and him because that can be a distraction. You know what's to come. And all I want him to stay focused on on on, on Otto Wallen, cause Otto Wallen gonna come to fight. Yeah. You know, just like P Joseph Parker is gonna come and fight. Yeah, and that's what I love about it. You know, what I mean, gladiators. We all gladiators. We all warriors. And again, we're risking our lives for others' entertainment. And with that being said, man, that's more than worthy to be praised. So that's why you gotta support. You gotta love your fighters. You know what I mean? And, and 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 show them some type of gratitude, some type of uh, appreciation. You know, that goes a long way uh, with us, with training, our mindset of performing and getting in the ring and trying, to, and trying to make the best fights happen. You know what I mean? You just don't know how much words of affirmation carries, you know, through us as human beings. Although we, we're, we're fighting machines, but we're still humans at the end of the day. And a lot of fighters have a lot of love for their family and a lot of love for their children. You know, the things that, you know, that hurts them the most, you know, is our families, you know, because we ain't lose a draw, the family's gonna be there. You know, the kids are gonna be there. They're gonna love their fathers, they're gonna love their mothers, or whatever they're providing and putting a roof over their the over their head or, or, or provide food in front of their face. You know, they're gonna love it. The world, you know, the world gonna beat you up with sticks and stones. But that family right there, they're going to always be there to, to heal those broken bones and or those those injured wounds and, and, and bring you back and love you to the to the fullest, man. That's the thing about them kids, man. They are. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. But I love you guys. Yeah. I'm back. Yep. I'm looking I'm looking forward to uh, December the 23rd. You stay tuned. Tune in to a magnificent car. Overall, it's going to be a beautiful car. The Saudis have done a, a brilliant job of bringing boxing back and, and taking it to the next level. Guys, they're taking it to the next level. There's a lot of things that you don't know about, and which I do, but this is not the time or the place to spill the beans. I want you to witness greatness. I want you to witness how boxing is supposed to be done and ran with the animated commercials, with the, with the, with the, with the promotion of how it's supposed to be done. And 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 with the cars that's lined up, the best will be fighting the best, and I'm excited about that. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, yeah, baby. Until next time, love, peace, and God bless. And you know, always. <laughs> and that's what we have it. We bring you the biggest names in the sport, and none bigger than Deontay Wilder.